so today I have the uh, Fire Emblem Fates Special Edition, and uh, then also at GameStop they threw in um, these keychains here. You can see them for both sides, and then of course uh, the other character, which as you guys watch, you will kind of figure out what that character is and everything. So. Cool little keychains. I guess basically you got it for buying both versions, but since you get the special special edition, it comes with both versions anyways. Um, you know, they just throw it in there, and then of course there is the the really great artwork on the back. Um, no, it's not. Oh, there we go. Um, which of course is on like a lot of stuff. Well, those are pretty cool. Yeah. At least you, yeah. You're already using the aqua one? Oh, nice. Um, yeah, these are cute. I like them chibi. I made them chibi. They gave them the big old heads. This is cool. And then we have the box. The box. The, the beautiful artwork, like I said before. Um,. It's just really nice looking. Um, not only that, you know, this thing comes with uh, three versions of the games. It says right there, Fire Emblem Fates, uh, Fire Emblem Birthright, uh, Fire Emblem Fates Conquest, Birthright, and then Revelation is the, the kind of the third version where you, you choose neither side, um, which is really cool. The artwork, uh, goes along the sides so there's more characters there and then even on top is where it like finishes it here's the uh, the back of the box uh, for you guys it's pretty nice it, you know it all looks really nice uh, you know Sarah motorcycle world got the special edition um, New 3DS XL, which is very very nice looking. Um, so maybe she'll send you guys a picture of it. It's always a trick to try not to. You know what I usually do with these? I don't know if I have. Any. I don't have my knife up here. Just because I don't like to. box that contains the game itself. On this side it says Fire Emblem Fates Birthright, and on this side it says Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. Um, here we have the um, art book that came with it. So here is the, the Birthright side. West side. Really, really nice looking, and then of course when you open it up, there's that artwork again where they're facing each other. So you have uh, 
two different corns there, the female on the one side and the male on the other. And then we have the the artwork, the art book that basically um, it's really nice looking. I, I was I saw some scans of it earlier. Um, it was like on Nintendo everything. Um, it's basically just a bunch of artwork from the game, and then um, on top of that, so these are all like kind of cutscenes and stuff that are in the game. And by the because the the art art work is really really nice in this game. I really like the style that they use. Um, it's really cool. Um, and then there's a bunch of different small ones. Um, and then, uh, and then uh, let's see. Well, here you have some concept art of Agua. There, which is really nice looking. More concept art, kind of like sketches and drawings, um, which are all really always really, really cool to see how they, they sketch something before they um, through it. And I mean, honestly, they have uh, they have both female and male core in there with a uh, sketch work as well. Um, and you've got. Uh, more characters from both sides. Um, with their artwork as well. And I mean, they're just, gosh, there's so many freaking characters in this game that you've got uh, tons of artwork of many, many different ones. And um, there's just lots of, I mean, th these pages are just basically uh, sketches. Which is nice. Um, you've got more sketches of different characters. Um, just like uh, pictures of the faces. You've got so uh, two. You've got two different kingdoms there. Um, Sketchwork of one on the both right side. Uh, I'm assuming this is the internal of the, the castle. So it looks like, like I always thought, I always think these are really cool when they do sketchwork of um, giant areas. More art. There's, there's just a, a lot of stuff here. I think this is the. Areas of like the castle that you can like upgrade. Um, they have concept art of um, different weapons. Here you've got a couple different swords, um, and then here you've got just a, a ton of different um, ones. And I'm sure there's like a a ton of different uh, kinds of weapons. Styles of weapons in these games. There's even more here. I don't see. Ah, I think that one is. I don't remember. Oh, we've got um, some different characters, and then their mounts that they can ride. Some horses, some dragons, um, birds, and things. We've got. Some of the creatures in the game. Um, let's see what else. We've got some different outfits for different characters. We've got the uh, we've got the sprites on the on the field uh, whenever they're down on the field, which is sprite work is always cool to see. Um, I'm guessing that these are signed by the people that worked on the game from Intelligent Systems. They're the team that worked on it. Oh, this is really cool. So um, here you've got like a timeline of Fire Emblem games. Um, 
but a lot of people don't realize that there are a ton of Fire Emblem games out there. There really are a lot of them, but a lot of them we never saw. They never came over here. Um, they were pretty hard to find. Um, but the Fire Emblem series is very, very cool. Um, it's just a lot of people were not introduced into it. And then, of course, it says it's 25 years of Fire Emblem. Uh, it looks like this is um, stuff from the opening of the game, which you guys will, when we start playing the game here in a second, you'll see the opening cutscene on it, let it play through. It's a very, very nice art book. I'll have to look through that some more later. And then I know that there's also the, um, I know that there's also this pouch that uh, came with this too for your 3DS. Which is always nice. Um, and it does have artwork on it. So there you go. It's um, kind of the outstretched version of what's on the cover of the box. Um, and then on the back here, we've got some some more um, we've got some more uh, stuff here on the back. It's really cool looking. Hmm. I like it. I like it. Ooh, <laughs> it's white on this one and this one. Is Wow, that's cool. Alright, and then the motorcycle girl was telling us about the inside of this cartridge box. That's my phone. No buzzing, buzzing. Here we have the cartridge, which of course has the three versions of the game on it. It's pretty cool looking. Um, and then I believe what Motorcycle Girl was trying to tell us is on the inside of the cover, we've got um, the artwork from the front uh, with uh, signature. Signature is right down here. And then is then you have the artwork. It's kind of glossy, so it might kind of reflect a bit. But again, that's all really cool looking. 